no matter where you're from. <laughs> Hi there people, Mr. Thorsons here and telling you that you know what, we all make mistakes. Um, one of my mistakes was, well not a big mistake, but um, I remember, if you remember my video called uh, sequels in video games, it was all about sequels, how one sequel does better than the first one, or the third one. And I thought I finished that until a friend of mine who saw the video who mentioned um, missing a game. I said, what the game, what the game I was missing about, Yakuza. Now, me and me, I just, me and my editing friend, we went back, we edited the hell out of it. I looked at the same footage over and over again. I think it was the same footage over and over again. But we say to ourselves, um, you know, I think we finished with it. Then I always look back at my video and say, no, we can done better. We can done better than we do now. So for my response as Mr. Sun Thumb, new and improved, that was before I became Mr. Sun Thumb, I looked at that video and said, you know what, we can do this better. So, now, I'm back here again, doing what I do best. Uh, resetting, let's just say resetting the whole game again, and I call it Yakuza, Yakuza Reboot. Um, so, let's begin with the history. Um, first of all, the first Yakuza came out in around the time I remember the PS2 at the time of 2006, September 2006. So I was like, oh, what is this game? Because I just been playing way too other uh, sandbox games like GTA and uh, well, no GTA and uh, you know like uh, Vice City and San Andreas. And I say, okay, I'm good. I don't need to play no more sandbox games. And I remember seeing this game probably like in my corner of my eye. So I picked it up. Um, it's called Yakuza. First of all, it's not you call Yakuza. Well, Yakuza here in the states we call it, but in Japan we call it like the dragon, um, cause because Yakuza game or you know because characters certain characters like I'm about to mention have this certain tattoo on their back, so it, it responds of what they are. Um, for this kid, for example, uh, Kazuma, the the game uh, hero, or we like to call him him like him the anti-hero. He is your typical Yakuza. Uh, he, he he has his own members. He has his own 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 style. His own fighting style. His own personality. He is the coolest character you've ever seen in your life. Um, in the game, in the first game, you're often getting money off um, off of long shots or other people who own you money, and you go back to your chairman. You know, your chairman, he's a good guy. You got a friend who is a good friend, good friend too. So, so we're gonna fast forward like about two episodes. No, two. Actually, we're gonna fast forward to I think. The next thing that uh, we you're gonna see in the game, if you ever get your hands on it, uh, see that the chairman was killed, and his friend was over the dead body. So as a as a good-hearted uh, Kazuma, that's Kazuma, uh, he took the blame, went to jail for five, almost ten years, ten years of in the jail. And I was like, wow. First off, it was a good game. Well, actually, let me pause that before I go off. Uh, if you do got the English, uh, you do uh, have Yakuza. The only one problem I have with the game is to have the English dub. Now the English dub is kind of like a... What? I don't know what's gonna happen if Nishiki gets in his way. I... I gotta get over there. No, don't! What? Kazuma, if you go, I might lose all three of you. Just stay here. I'll figure something out. Calm down. Yeah, well, it's kind of awful, and I had to like bite my ears and hope I can go right through it, but the gameplay is real well. Well, let's just fast forward back when I was left off. Now you add a gel and everything is changing. Um, first of all, the the city is actually a real city. If you Google it, they actually took uh, sights, sound, sights in the sound from a real live city. I was kind of impressed with Sega. Sega never did anything like this in the lifetime because I was impressed. So, back story. I'm always doing that. I'm always going to jump in, but I'm jumping back on, on the story. So, Kazuma, he's out of prison and everything changed. His friend becomes the chairman, more like almost the third or fifth cha third chairman of the Yakuza. And on top of that, this, how, this is what the game makes it really fun. Now, think of Scrooge McDuck. You know Scrooge McDuck. And remember that big um, bank of his? Now, think of that. Now, in, this, in the Yakuza universe, someone took about a billion, I think it's about a billion yen in that yeah, term. So it's like, so I'm basically I don't know how much yen will be in the U.S. But I think it's like almost like Scrooge McDuck piggy bank, a lot of money. 
So they took it and disappeared with it. And everybody's just wondering what hell happened there. At the same time, this mysterious young girl, you're gonna you're gonna be playing the game or you're gonna watch this on YouTube. Um, you're not the typical, as I mentioned for like GTA, you jump in a car, you, you jack a car, you jump in. No, all footwork. You're walking one place to point A to point B to point D to point C. You point, you just walk in every direction. Um, and I like the encounters. In this game, you encounter every um thug you can imagine. And this is a, this is when I, I like to call it the you know the out of my way, I'm gonna take you out. Well, actually, out of my way, I'm gonna beat you insensibly in front of your friends, kind of moment. Because you, you just like, oh, oh, oh and now you wanna fight me? Every so often, you can walk about five faces, like like five steps, any direction, and it will come up to you. And it will, and then you in the fight, and you're in the fighting mode. And the fighting modes are kind of good because you can actually do a lot of damage. You can grab a person, you can slam against a pole, you can grab another person, slam against a car. Um, and the more you do it, you build a uh, meter called heat. Now heat is a, a crucial in this game because when you build it up, you can do a devastating move that you've never seen before. The more you build it up, the more you play it. With. In fact, you don't have to do the whole storyline. They got side missions that um, are really fun. I was kind of shocked. Um, I can go to arcades. Um, I can go play pool. I can go uh, go to um, to a local bar, get drunk. It's everything about this game was so. A brush of fresh air, and I think from Sega, it was kind of weird. So after a while, I'm thinking, okay, they're not gonna make another Yakuza, and then I, and I remember hearing like, wait, you're making Yakuza 2. So Yakuza 2 came out in 2008 September. I remember that time because I just gotten the first copy. Now I was like, wow, hooked into it, so I got the second copy. So the second copy leads off. Well, I'm not gonna tell you what happened in the ending, so you gotta play the game or check it on YouTube. That's that's you know, in my opinion, but in the second one, you find yourself in the graveyard paying respects to, well, as I said, I'm not going to support the whole thing, but just check it out. And then you find that the chairman of a, a former clan had been shot. Now, it's up to you, once again, to, to show who is the, who is, um, uh, the Yakuza. So, this gameplay takes a little bit different from the first one. Um, in ways that I never thought before, because, um, Sure. The first of all, uh, and I say, in, in, in all in all due respect, they actually changed the English. The English one was awful. This time they kept it in Japanese. I loved how it is because there's no. I mean, they make you feel like you're watching a movie. It's like watching, like reading a novel or watching a, a good Japanese, you know, crime drama. It's just really intense. So the gameplay. The gameplay. They change it a little bit more different this time. Um. This time you are doing everything the same as the first one, but a little bit more different. You get more weapons. You um, kind of knew more people. You kind of knew more characters. I believe that if you learn from your lesson from the first one, you know you do it the second one, and they do it perfectly. Now for the third one. The third one, as we move to next gen, there's still the two other ones I mentioned. It was on still on PS2. For um, yeah, PS2. For the third one. Came out in I think 2010 in a March night. I remember it was March night because I remember seeing the copy and I think, oh, I gotta get my copy. And I think the character, if you if you look at the character, how they look in in the in um, really good graphics, you know you know how it feels like the character, the personality, everything about this game, is really good. And I I really got into it. I mean, in this one, you can actually make weapons. Yes, and make weapons. And when you get further into the game. You make these weapons, and um, when you got you gotta find certain items. Like you gotta find like a radio and a battery and a chain. You can make a I don't know nunchucks. I'm just I'm just making it out of my mind. You can get side quests with you know in this one you side quests in me. You can go to help a person out, help a help a mystery out, and you know this time around you can get more drunk than you get in the two games. They got karaoke. Um, they have. Uh, Beaches, I mean beaches, golfing, uh, you name it, they have everything in this game. And I, I loved how, you know, they did it. And I stepped on going to it because, you know, you cannot say, okay, Sega, they always do Sonic Hedgehog and, and, and screw that up. But with Yakuza, they, or like the Dragon in Japan, they actually did it things right. And I, I love about it, you know, the fighting, the the, 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 the drama, you know, the suspense, the, the cliffhangers, everything about this game. Um... Yakuza, the Yakuza game is so big in Japan that actually made a movie around it called, guess it, Yakuza. Um, I didn't have watch. I watched only a couple of um, 
short, I mean, the movie itself, but it's actually kind of good. It's based on the video game. Everything with the, the punching and the aura, the characters, everything about the game is in the movie. Yeah, you know, you're probably like, yeah, I don't want to watch it, but if you're a true fan of Yakuza, you definitely need to watch this. And I don't know what you're thinking, because um, all I'm talking about is Yakuza, Yakuza 1, 2, and 3, and you're wondering yourself, do I have part, do I, I'm um, going to play part 4? Do I'm going to play part 4? And the answer is what you think. So, I hope I do this right, you know, because this is the last time I'm going back to Yakuza, because I figure, you know, I, I'm about to rush into it, and I am getting a chance, but just, trust me, this is the best series you're ever going to play. I mean, I think some, one of my friends, they almost, like, almost like Shimu, I'm thinking right, like Shimu for the Dreamcast, but a little more bloodier. Yes, a little more bloodier, a little more excitement. So, put a comment. You know, I mean, you know what? You see my video, you know, when I do this, that means, uh, no, I'm not going to use the bathroom. You know, put a comment below. Tell me I did it right. Tell me I missed something. Tell me you enjoyed the Yakuza series. Tell me you didn't like the Yakuza series. Just tell me, because I want to know. I want feedback. You know, I mean, this is the best series you're ever going to play. So, from Mr. Thor's Thumbs, yeah, that's me. I am signing out. Keep on gaming.